Welcome to the Pause Program channel. Today I'm going to read you a story um, about the three key parts of the brain and linking to animals to help everyone understand what they can do. I hope you enjoy the story. Meet the three key parts of the brain. You are about to meet three friends who work very closely together in one of the most important parts of the body. Do you know what that part is? Is it your head? Is it your shoulders? Is it your knees? Is it your toes? Is it your eyes? Is it your ears? Is it your mouth? Is it your nose? No, it's your brain. Your brain lives inside your head. It has so many different parts and they all work very hard. Now we are going to learn about three important parts and they are the prefrontal cortex, the amygdala and the hippocampus. To help you remember the big names of these parts of the brain, we are going to link them to an animal. Meet Hannah, Chris and Doug. Hannah Hawk represents the prefrontal cortex, Chris Crocodile represents the amygdala and Doug Dugong represents the hippocampus. Hannah, the prefrontal cortex, is a wise old hawk. Hannah lives in the very front of the brain called the frontal lobe. Hannah makes our smart choices, solves our problems and does our thinking. Chris the amygdala is a snappy crocodile. Chris lives deep in the centre part of the brain called the temporal lobe. Chris is responsible for our behaviours and our emotions. Doug the hippocampus is the memory saving dugong. Doug lives deep in the centre part of the brain called the temporal lobe alongside the amygdala. Doug is responsible for forming, organising and storing memories. These three animals love to work and play together. Hannah loves to sit up in her tree and think. Chris loves to sit in his cage and have a sleep. Doug loves to chat with his friends and say things. Now sometimes Chris doesn't feel so good. He gets upset, comes out of his cage and begins to snap. When this happens, Hannah flies away. She doesn't like it when Chris snaps. Doug is left alone and has no one to talk to. This is a big problem. When Hannah flies away, the thinking part of the brain doesn't work. This means the brain can't think, can't solve problems and can't make smart choices. It also means that Hannah can't talk to Doug and send the memories that the brain is learning to Doug to be stored. What can the three friends do? Do you have any idea what they can do? Chris needs to calm down and do one of the following. Make, uh, shake a mind jar, take deep breaths, have a drink of water or go for a walk. Once Chris has calmed down, he goes back into his cage. Then Hannah flies back to sit in her tree and talks to Doug. Hello, Doug. Glad I'm back. Hello, Hannah. Great to talk to you again. When the three friends are working together again, the brain is balanced and ready for learning and playing. So, if you notice that your amygdala, your Chris Crocodile, is coming out in your brain, remember to shake a mind jar, take three deep breaths, have a drink of water, or go for a walk. This will help your prefrontal cortex, your Hannah, wise old hawk, stay in her tree so she can make smart choices, solve problems, and think, and also talk to your hippocampus, your Doug memory-saving elephant. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story today.